We're going to take an in-depth look at our new operating system, Flow OS. We'll walk you through all the powerful features so you can get the most out of your Wave monitor encoder. We'll start with the event page. The first thing we'll see is our live feed. We have our subject with his helmet and GoPro, ready for anything. At the top of the event page is a status bar that provides an at-a-glance view of some useful information about Wave and our stream settings. Starting from the top left, there is an icon indicating whether AC power or battery power is being used. If we click the icon, it will show us which batteries are connected. Next over is our network connection indicator, which reflects our current network interface. Tap on the icon to view its IP address, which is useful for logging into the web UI on another device. We'll tap on the platform and event name icon to see the basic information about our broadcast destination, including the account and platform being used, video input settings, and bitrate settings for our audio and video. Next over is the audio meter, showing live readings of our audio levels. We can tap on the audio meter to adjust volume if needed. We can also change our audio source between embedded HDMI and analog input on the bottom of the wave. We've already enabled recording, so we can tap the record button to begin saving our stream to our SD card. When recording, the button turns red and shows a recording time counter. Finally, on the far right of the status bar in the stream button, this will prompt the wave to begin streaming our video and audio to our selected destination. We can stop our stream by pressing the stream button. We will then be prompted to confirm and we will end our stream. The event page also comes equipped with a quick menu in the lower right corner, which allows us to bring up to four menu options quickly. The first is event configuration. This will take you to the event settings screen. Here we can make quick adjustments to our stream settings such as destination, video settings, and more. Next is stream quality. This allows us to view current technical statistics of our stream, including a video bitrate graph and current video and audio bitrates. Next is display brightness. This option allows us to dim or brighten our display depending on our broadcast location. Wave has a daylight viewable display, so you should be able to use it during exterior shoots. Finally, we have system settings. This lets us quickly navigate our Wave's main settings page where we can view global device settings such as internet connections, streaming destinations, and more. We'll close out and go back to our event page. So if we swipe down, we can open the event carousel. What's unique about the event carousel is that you can pre-configure live stream events. This is huge if you do an array of different events and need a customized setup for each. Let's jump into one of these events and see what sort of customization we can do. Let's select Wedding. We can now see that we're bonding our signal and we're going to our ShareLink account. Then as we swipe down to the event carousel and go over to our concert feed, we can see we're connected to the internet via a single source since we're not bonding with our ShareLink account. We're also sending our feed to a single destination, YouTube. Let's say we want to create an event with a slight variation. We can open this drop-down menu and duplicate the event. Then we can give the event a new name, we'll call it Concert Tuesday, and then we'll have all the same settings. Now we can see that we have Concert and Concert Tuesday. Now we want to change the settings, so we'll go into the Configure button and we'll select General. And the first thing we're going to do is select a new thumbnail. We'll go with this candle. We can change anything from stream destination to our video and record settings. The reason you would want to duplicate an event is if it's a slight variation from a previously configured event, so you don't have to go through all the settings. Now we have two events ready to go. We can also start from scratch and create a brand new event. We'll click on the plus sign in the upper right, then we'll select a thumbnail, and then we can decide what account to go to. We'll select share link. Then we'll tap next, next again, and it will bring us to the stream quality settings page. And then we want a high bit rate, so we'll set it at 15 megabits per second. Everything else looks good, and we'll select finish. And now we can see our new event is set up and ready to go. So as you can see, the ability to pre-configure events gives you a ton of flexibility. With Wave and Flow OS, you can be confident that you're ready for any situation. Happy streaming.